Well, scientists say seismic activity has decreased in southwest Iceland, where hundreds of people have had to leave their homes over fears over a volcanic eruption. More than a thousand earthquakes have hit the area since midnight, but they've mostly been weaker than those over the last couple of days. But experts do stress a 15 kilometer long river of magma running under the peninsula is still active and poses a threat to nearby towns. Earlier on, I spoke to volcano expert Dr. Evgenia Ilenskaya. She told me more about the significance of these moments. So I guess it's both unusual and not unusual. We know that this is this part of Iceland is very volcanically and seismically active. Um, and we know that every thousand years or so, we get a, peer, a long period of eruptions in this particular area. And pretty much right on time, uh, the last eruptions have finished about 800 years ago. And now we're just starting a new eruptive episode of fires, as they're called locally. So um, officials are evacuating people. Talk us through how dangerous this is. Uh, people were evacuated around midnight on Friday night uh, when um, there were geophysical data that showed uh, escalation of magma intruding under the ground. Um, so that's that's still the case. There, there, the likelihood of eruption is still considered very, very likely. Um, so people are yeah staying elsewhere at the moment, about 4,000 people. Iceland's Civil Protection Agency has talked about this magma tunnel currently forming underneath certain towns. Can you talk about that? Tell us what that is. Yeah, I think, so first of all, magma tunnel has, think, I think, been Google translated from Icelandic. There is a, the word that is used in English for this phenomenon is a dike, magma dike. So it's a vertical column of magma that comes from quite deep and can reach all the way to the surface. Uh, it, from geophysical measurements, both on the ground and from satellites, we could see that it was becoming very, very large and that it was inflating very, very rapidly. And this suggested that um, we could be going into a very large eruption. Luckily, over the last um, 12 hours or so, this inflation has uh, slowed down. So now the sort of the worst case scenario of a very large eruption is considered less likely, but the possibility of a small eruption is still very, very high. Iceland is not a big country geographically. Do you have enough space to move people to? Is it possible you'll have to move people out of the country altogether? Um, at the moment, that is quite unlikely. And Iceland is small, but it's quite, a, maybe because of, of its small size, it is a very close-knit community. And out of the nearly 4,000 people who were evacuated, only about 100 have been staying in shelters and the rest have been accommodated by friends or family or um, just members of the public putting up their spare rooms and spare homes just you know, for, for people to stay. Um, it's, it's highly unlikely that there will be a, a very large scale evacuation. But that, that being said, we can't rule anything out at this stage, but it is highly unlikely.